Carlo Messina, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, there's a lot of talk, uh, a lot of actually analysts also upgrading your stock since yes. the earnings. Overall, what is your biggest challenge for 2020? We're talking about the coronavirus. I is there a black swan event that, that you fear? So on, 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 if you want an executive summary, I think that at the end uh, we will have a grow in any case uh, at world level. So with some point of attention related to tra trade, uh, coronavirus, uh, Brexit, uh, negative interest rate. But net net, uh, I see a positive trend uh, for Italy and especially for Inter San Paolo. That, that's my perception. So what does it mean for Intesa's future uh. trends in terms of earnings? Can you keep the momentum? And what does it mean for dividends? So Inter San Paolo today is the strongest cash dividend machine in Europe. That, that's for sure. So that, that's the evidence. That's the result of uh, the 2019 figures. Uh, and that's the reason why analysts uh, are now trying to, to have a more positive approach on the future of Inter San Paolo. But this is based on uh, a, an increase in net income, sustainable increase in net income, and also due to our strong capital position. So we have today the strongest net income generation mm -hmm. in, in Europe, but at the same time the strongest capital position. Then we we, we had a business model uh, leveraging on wealth management that is the key factor of success for the future. But, but what do uh, shareholders, Mr. Messina, ask you day in, day out? Is it Italian politics? So you have a strong bank, you give back to shareholders, <coughs> capital is okay, but there's always this lingering political situation in Italy that makes people nervous. So they, they are nervous, but our shareholders are happy. So that, that's something that, that you have to, to consider. So Inter San Paolo is, <coughs> is a mix uh, of the best part of Italy, so we are the Italian flag from, from a financial point of view, and, and the synthesis is between families, companies, uh, a portion of public. Uh, so I think that there is uh, a, 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 an exaggeration in the, in the negative view on the country. That's for sure the need of political stability. So families, companies are triple A in our country. What we need is politicians to do the right job in order to give stability to the country, because with stability, the country can have the same spread BTP boom like Spain and Portugal. There's no other thing that they have to do. I know, you're also an international bank, but <clears throat> is this the biggest concern? You're still Italy-based, yes. um, Italy-listed. Is this an even bigger concern for you than negative rates set by the European Central Bank? So negative interest rates are for sure in the medium term a problem. That, that's for sure. But for a bank like Inter San Paolo, in which wealth management, we have one trillion euros of savings of the Italian family. And in this situation, negative interest rates are an engine for us in terms of transformation of deposit and asset under administration into asset under management. So in the short term, for Inter San Paolo, this is positive, not negative. In medium term, it is true that it is a drug, the negative interest rate environment. So it's, it's, it's something that has to be changed in the future, moving into zero and then positive. You've always been one of the most ambitious chief executive in growing the bank and making it solid, and you've always said that you were uh, wanting to grow it in wealth management. If you don't find the right thing to buy, and I don't know if you have, can, can you still stick to internal growth to actually maximize revenue? So the, the, the start from, from internal, and then we can talk about uh, other, other opportunities. So if you look at the internal, the amount of money that we can transform into asset under management is equivalent to to the, 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 the major acquisition that you can do outside of Italy because we have 176 billion of asset under administration that can be converted into asset under management and we have out of 400 billion of deposits 70 billion euros of sleeping money coming just in the last two years from families that want to be more conservative looking for uh, the, the increase in shares a reduction in spread BTP good so we have a, a, an amount exceeding 200 billion euros that we can have within our mm. our uh, internal mm. potential. But that would be to expand internally, so to, to focus on certain operations? So, so the, internally we can for sure move into a conversion of 50 billion euros in the next two or three okay. years. So that, that's something that it is really to 
execute. So execution is a major point in terms of consolidation, in terms of acquisition. Then if you look at other target in wealth management, there is a matter of pricing because the valuation are really strong. And there is also another point of attention that is potential litigation because if you are involved into international wealth management, it is also another part of the story that you have to be sure to know uh, what can happen if you make an acquisition. So uh, we want to remain concentrated on wealth management on, on Inter San Paolo because I think that we can exploit a lot of value and continue to increase net income and continue to increase dividends for our shareholders. So, and shareholders have understood that, right? Yes, I, I, I think so. So, the, that, that's, that's, so if we are the, the, number, the number three bank in Europe by, in, by, by, by market by cap value, being, yeah. being, being uh, uh, Italian and I'm, I'm convinced that we are number three because we are Italian so not, not because but, but, but that, that's for sure. Uh, talk to me about um, cost cuts. Yes. So how much will you have to focus on cost cuts in you know in, in 2020 and beyond? So uh, th that's a strategic point for, for, for because banking sector will be affected by, by digital threats so that by definition you have to work uh, on cost you have to, to work uh, with, uh, with uh, a, a social friendly approach so looking at sustainability yeah. and inclusion in the country. We have uh, some voluntary exit uh, already planned uh, in the next year, so we will have a reduction in terms of cost base, a reduction in terms of branches, and we made an agreement uh, in the country in order to have possibility to reduce branches because uh, we will work with outlet. Cisal Pay is, uh, is a network that we can use for, for family uh, clients, uh, but that's for sure costs are a significant part of the story in terms of reduction. There's no possibility for, for the European banking sector to survive without a reduction of costs. Um, Carlo Messina, when you look at Eastern Europe, is there value? I know there, there were you know, talks and rumors that you'd be interested in guarantees Romania units. <laughs> so Eastern Europe is an important part of, of our net income generation because we, we are gaining more than 600 million euros in the, in the area in the outside of Italy. Uh, but uh, we, in any case, also in this area, we will remain concentrated in increasing the internal ability to generate net income. That, that's for sure also in this era because execution also outside of Italy is, is fundamental. So in Croatia, in Serbia, in Slovakia, in Egypt, we are the leader in the market and we are generating a lot of net income and this, in this area we want to increase our ability to work on internal capabilities. So are, are you working with guarantee? No, we, we are, we are in a position in which we want to increase our internal ability to generate net income.